I don't know why Golf Digest was interested in this conversation with me too. Why why is the national handicap not getting better? So they asked me a question of uh, what would it take for the national handicap to drop five shots? You know, what's the rate of like new golfers? Yeah, you've always got the new beginning and the dropout rate of the old, and those two are always going to balance each other out. But let's say the national handicap's like 30 uh, on average, which would probably be really good to make that 25. What would you do? If the national handicap is 30, if I'm going to kind of blame instruction, then there's the assumption that a big percentage of those people are actually taking lessons in the first place. <laughs> you got it. That's really my answer. It has nothing to do with instruction. Um, has to do with probably just the uh, golf coach's ability to answer the phone when someone asks how much your golf lessons they tell them and then they just stop talking if you could navigate that conversation to have the person who called you the golfer who wants help get all the way down to yeah i hit every every driver i slice into the trees i do need help i'm your answer offer up a solution you'd have more people taking more golf lessons we see so many people who call frustrated and want to play better uh, have a poor experience on the phone without uh, a lot of education on just how to do that. I've yet to see anyone start at golf and know how to answer the phone because you just don't get that skill anywhere. Else. You don't talk about so when you're training your teachers, it's obviously not just the instruction side of it, it's also, yeah. I hate to say it, but a little bit of the sales side of it, which is really just saying, sure. someone's coming to you with an issue, how do you kind of take them through exactly sort of these questions that are how do you take a struggling golfer who wants your help and actually convert them into coming in mm -hmm.